Hello, I'm uh, Robert Eisley. I'm the curator of uh, Sculpture Manzusen and of this particular uh, exhibition, which is called Outer Space. I'm Antarctica Black, and I'm the co-founder of Sculpture Month Houston alongside Walker Isley. And we're here at the Silos at Swear Yards inside Site Gallery. And we have cultivated a new exhibition titled Out of Space. It is from October 12th to November 30th, 2019, and we are so excited about our roster of artists this year. A roster of 18 artists got to be challenged uh, within the silos in a unique way. We uh, put the challenge forth for them to uh, fit the theme of out of space. So the first part of the show, the left side of the silos, is about the environment, and the other side, the right side, is about suggestions by artists of alternative worlds. Uh, I work with inflatables because I feel like they're um, something that people can really relate to. I was really excited to work on a, a silo. After I have the paper patterns, I then cut out all the fabric, I sew it together, and then I'm able to inflate it all with the air. Interested in incorporating time and movement into sculpture. As the piece turns, the 3D mechanical beams and the 2D shadows disappear into each other, and if we'll allow the natural rhythms to return to the world of come, the beams will return in the light. So, my work is uh, sculptural in form, um, but then also has a sound component. And when you touch different parts of the instruments, um, triggers different sonic events. Um, other times people can wear the work that I create, which affects their perception of things. The ideas that are driving the installation are more extended, thorough discussion about what it means to label plants invasive. We have a tendency to uh, impose our human values on these different kinds of species. I have up today is how there is no going back. And so there are some birds that are critically endangered or actually extinct. Uh, there are also some sounds from NASA, some space sounds. And so the piece kind of pulls us back into the past and it propels us into a fantastical future. I'm Margaret Smithers Crump, and the uh, title of my installation at the, for Sculpture Month Houston Out of Space is uh, A Question of Balance. Uh, it, it is comprised of three uh, spheres. Most important resource in our, uh, on our Earth, I think, is human life. And this, uh, human life is so fragile and it's extremely valuable, it's a gift. And so I wanted to create something that celebrated the value of life and how disposable we are. I have about 7,147 paper plates in this installation. I was first inspired by those things that they hang on your door at a uh, hotel that asked me to like using less resources, like we'll save the world. So I kind of broke it down to its like elements and then reimagined it to fit into the shape. So I'm using a lot of recycled plastics with my work. Uh, what is the world going to be as we're polluting so much of the ocean? The plastic nature is going to use it, it's already using it. So I'll sort of make elements out of these things and then it's a matter of putting it together. So my name is Patrick Turk and the piece I have in the silos is called The Shapeshifter. I think I put about 600 hours into this piece. It's basically kind of this, this extra dimensional surveillance unit that is here just kind of gathering data and researching carbon-based life. Forms. I mean, this is kind of one of the best things about the Houston art scene is really, this, this space is amazing. All of our ideas of alien-like creatures come from the depths of the ocean. I've made this artwork, my two silos, to be investigative pieces. I wanted people to investigate the work. I wanted people to use whatever they had to try to learn more about the piece. And
Ultra Month Houston would not be able to run without the lifeblood that is volunteers. And we are so grateful to have such a welcoming and warm arts community here that have given us such wonderful and thoughtful volunteers. And we really couldn't have put this show together without them.